Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fortran Academy. My name is Harshwats and today we will be talking about understanding cardinality in Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is an analytical software that will help you in understanding your data set through various visualization in different data models. Now let us go further and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. In this video we will generally talk about what is cardinality and what are the different type of cardinality present in Power BI Desktop. So these are the things we will talk about. Now let us go further and talk about how this relationship affect our data set. Let's bring data to life. For understanding the relationship, you must understand these three words. First is cardinality, other is cross filter direction and third is active property. Because understanding relationship in Power BI Desktop is itself a very complex procedure. For understanding that complex procedure, you have to understand these three procedure differently. First cardinality, other cross filter direction and third is active properties and how these three interrelate with each other. So before going any further, I will explain you about cardinality. So what is cardinality? The complex, it is a very complex word and create a lot of confusion, but it is not. In spite of calling it cardinality, you can call it as a type of relationship. Say in creating a relationship between two tables, you can see there are many type of relationship that exist between our data set and we can create a different type of relationship in our data set that we can say as a cardinality so the first and foremost type of relationship in cardinality is one to many and many to one that means creating a one relationship to many of the relationship and creating many relationship to one relationship so it is complex to understand in this way let me understand and tell you through an example so for example we have a customers and for that we have a customer table in which we have a customer id first name and second name so customer id is specific to each of the first name and second name you can see in our data set that a first customer has a first name as Maximilian after that the second name and the ID second of the customer has a John Mayer third so you can easily see each customer has a specific customer ID so if I create a, another table that is order when I create an order you will see there is another table that is ID order order date ID customer so in here you won't be able to see any first name and second name because it is already present in first name and second name so as you remember in one of my previous video i told you about merging the queries so merging can be working on the basis of one query that is which com which is common in both of the table so what is common in both of the table is id customer if you look into an id customer you can see the that it is specific in this table but is it is not specific in this table because because one is repeating itself after that two and three four are also present in our second table so if we create a relationship between these two table we can say we are creating one to many because in first table we can see the customer only has a one that means one to many that means id customer which is very specific for the first name and second name and very specific for the table itself but in the second table when i create a relationship between one to this customer id in orders through customers in orders i will create a relationship you will see here when i click on one in here there are three things that means there are three orders that put by the our id customer one that means maximilian has ordered three things a c and d that means it has been created now one to many relationship you can call it as one to many if in contrast if i call it a vice versa and creating in contrast of it and just almost opposite to it from orders to customer that is one to many so this is how you will understand the type of relationship in between two data set which is from one to many to many to one there are another type of cardinality that is present in our data set that is one to one 
so how do you understand one to one for that also that means if hypothetically you will think there is one thing available in our one data set and another thing is available to another data set which is specific to both of them is called one to one let me show you by example so this is one table which is id passport valid issued first name second name country so this is one of the complex table so i want to make it very easy so i have divided this table into two things so when i create it into a table which is one passport specific that means id of the customer valid and issued because i will create an another table which is for person that is person specific if i want a second id passport i will know it's of john mayer if i want to know about the passport it is of 2019 to 1999 so this is how you will create a two tables out of one table after that when we want to make a relationship between table that is very specific cardinality which is one to one because if you see in this table id passport is specific to each of the row if in here you will see id passport is very specific to each row in here in another table person and passport in both of them id passport is very specific for each row if we create a relationship in between these two table it will be called as one to one relationship or we can say one to one cardinality so this is how the type of relationship works now let's go to the third type of cardinality understanding the third type of cardinality is kind of complex which you should understand only after understanding a cross filter direction so in another video i will explain the other type of cardinality because for that to understand for that to understand you have to understand the cross filter direction because third type of cardinality is related to cross filter direction so it, it will be discussed in my next video So with this point I am going to end this video and I hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helps you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day.